As a kid, you know, I wasn't the best student, but I was always building things, taking things apart. You could see very early on that Scott was just had a creative engineering kind of mind. Well, I had Scott in a couple of my classes. He had a lot of energy. He could not sit still or stand still or not talk. He provides an energy and he's always excited, enthusiastic, and that energy is contagious. The idea of drop water came out of the classroom. So we learned about packaging, learned about how bottled drinks are made. And I thought it was just kind of idiotic to be transporting water across the globe, you know, wrapped in plastic when there's already water everywhere. I made a very early prototype for my senior project and it didn't really work, but it got the ball rolling in the right direction. Now we're here. We've managed to get to this point where we're in airports, so we're actually selling drinks and it's really exciting. And so Drop Water is offering a new way to get drinks to consumers. So traditionally, um, it goes through a long distribution chain. We're eliminating that entirely. We're bottling drinks at the point of sale. This means we can make packaging that's made to last hours or days instead of months and years. Scott innovated a, a new type of bottle that is not recyclable, but compostable. It was a few years ago, I think it was 2017, I was walking down a beach on the North Shore of Kauai. I found a bottle of water and I was like, I don't want this to be our future. In that year, 2017, we made over 480 billion bottles of water. Humans did. It's enough bottles to stretch to the moon, I think 25 times and it's growing at 8% per year, roughly. It's important that we do something about this and we, we stop this cycle. What uh, uh, Scott has created is, you know, it's reducing the carbon footprint of the packet product substantially. Our drop water kiosk is like a miniature bottling plant. It's basically a big robot. So we have um, almost 1,500 empty bottles, kind of stacked like cups. Actually, when you buy a drink, there is no drink yet. So you choose what you want. It injects the water, injects the flavor, and seals the bottle in about nine, 10 seconds and gives it to you. The entire team here at Drop Water went to Cal Poly. I think that does play into our dynamic. It gives us a sense of we know what we're getting when we hire a Cal Poly grad. And I think especially in a startup like this, you need to have people that can do multiple things and that aren't afraid to try things that they may not already know how to do. This is a, a classic learn by doing problem. And I'd say it's learn by failing. You try something, see if it works, it doesn't, try something else. And you iterate every day, every day. It's always about hitting the wall, something doesn't work, finding a way around it, you know, pivoting, making, making a change, and you know, just never giving up. You know, that's what Scott's doing with Drop Water. It's been 17 years since I've been at Cal Poly, and we have really cool concepts coming out of our classes and projects every year. Where Scott differentiates himself is he took his concept, he was passionate enough to bring it to market. He has successful uh, models out there, but it's, it's always going to be a struggle and most students do not have the patience or passion to do that. We've made a lot of sacrifices running this business. In the beginning, I couldn't pay myself, so I renovated a school bus into a tiny home and lived in it for three years with my then girlfriend, now wife, in front of this shop. If Scott's successful in what he's trying to do, and there's no reason that he shouldn't be, uh, this could have a major impact on the world. Oh, it gives me a great pleasure to see Scott being honored. He exemplifies who we are and what we can do for our students. It feels amazing to be honored by this award. I think that you know, we've been heads down in the trenches with not much feedback for many, many years. You know, we kind of stuck with doing this because we believed in, in this mission so much. We need to solve these problems and we have the skill to do it. So why not us?